Hello everyone. Welcome to another Friday Live. Today we are going to have a sublimation vacation. Hey, scroll all the way to the bottom. Let's see if we can see the comments. And no. Okay. That's all right. Okay. So we had planned on doing like an entire sublimation vacation type thing. Um, but it looks like um, because we got so many new products in, how come I can't make this bigger? I don't want to hide them. I want to see them. I can't. I can't. I don't know why I can't see them. That's, that's crap. Okay. Well, you know. I don't want to do that. Guys, give me just a second. Let me see if I can find... I can't see my Facebook comments. So, let me see if I can find them because you guys know how much I love talking to you all. <laughs> nope. Oh, well. I don't know. Bo, I guess you're just going to have to monitor those uh, Facebook comments. So, as I was saying, <clears throat> we were going to do a bunch of vacation-themed items, but we got a ton of new products in. So instead, we're only going to do a few travel related products. And instead, I'm going to show you some of the great new products that we have. But first, I don't, I don't know why that's happening. You're just going to have to monitor on your phone. Or actually, you know what? I can watch it on my phone. Let's just do that. Um, but first, let's talk about the sale. It is July the 2nd. And so what we have decided to do is to extend our Cool Your Jet sale. So that will be extended until the 7th because on the 8th, guess what happens, guys? Open house. We will have open house beginning on the 8th. If you are not already registered, I would recommend that you... Oh, okay, we can... I guess we can... I don't know. Um live chat there we go i see you guys heat wave in canada okay um so yes open house begins on the 8th and i'm not going to give you too many details about it today but uh you're gonna have to turn that down just like that okay um uh <laughs> bo you keep you keep throwing me off track um so open house begins on the 8th. If you're not already registered, please go register. Uh, just for registering, you can win a SG-1000 with a standard ink set. And you can also win a George Knight DK-14S. And that is just for registering. Not to mention all of the great things that you can win during the classes themselves. So it's going to be a lot of fun. The registration link is in the video. Oh, and the registration link is in the video. Thanks. Uh, Bo. So, yeah. Um, okay. So, I've got some people watching. You guys know how much I love that. But I'm going to need a little more. Oh, wait. But hold on. I was, I was starting to talk about something else. So, Tuesday at 3.30 p.m., we are having a very special edition of TTPPHH. And for those of you that do not know, TTPPHH is our t-shirt transfer paper power half hour with our world-renowned Doug DeWitt, but Tuesday, it's going to be all about open house. So we're going to kind of go through the app. We're going to go through um, some of the great deals that are going to be happening, some of the cool little specials, and, uh, you know, it's just going to be a fun time. So make sure you join us Tuesday for TTPPHH at 3.30 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. Okay, now... I have a lot of people watching, you know I love that, but I would like to have more and I would also like to give you something for watching. So if you guys can share this video, if you're on Facebook, share it to some of your sublimation groups and if you're on YouTube, you can share it there as well and also please subscribe. And if you do and we get the viewership up, I'm going to give you guys these two cute patterns. So this one is called Beach Please and then there's another cute pattern called Owls and Leaves. Isn't that adorable? I love owls. I have a lot of owl tattoos. So, so yeah. So guys, share this video. Let's get some viewership up. 
and I will send you these two patterns. <coughs> Excuse me, but you have to wait until the end to see how to get them if you don't already know. All right. Okay, so first, let's talk about some of the new products that we have received in. So, so many new things. You guys know we did the carabiner mug when we went camping. So that was this. Love it. Um, and a while ago, we did the soup mug. But now we also have the chili mug, which is the mug 044. This is a 32 ounce mug. Look at that. And now this was the very first one we did, but we will have a full wrap template that goes all the way around it, just like this one. So yeah, super cute. 32 ounce chili mug. I love it. Mug 044. Um, in addition to that, whoops, we have launched three new camping mugs. So we have this 12 ounce white enamel with the black rim. We have this really cute pink with the stainless steel rim. I love that. I love my little pony as well. And then also we have this amazing greenish color one. So this is um, uh, CM12, 13, and 14. I'm not sure the exact part numbers, but one of them is CM12, one is CM13, and one is CM14. So really, really, really love these. Okay. Two more camp mugs. So you guys are always saying, you know, we need bigger camp mugs. And we listen sometimes. So we decided to do that. So now we have these large ceramic camp mugs. Uh, this is mug 046 and you can see it's kind of like beige and it has little speckles in it and it's got that black rim. And then we also have a white one. Look at that sloth hiking team. We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> That's me. Me. And this is 047. We're actually going to do one of these uh, first off. But wait, there's more. Okay, been waiting on these for a long time. Guys, we now have sippy cups. Super cute. This is, this is the white one. This is SS Cup 13W. And this is the silver one. This is SS Cup 13S. We're also going to do one of these today. And they come, they have a really sturdy lid and it has the little plastic piece to stop it from just gushing out. So I absolutely love these. Very, very cute. Very excited about this, especially after lockdown. Lots of people are going to be having babies, and so we're going to need lots of sippy cups. Okay, but wait, there is even more. We have three new styles of, what are these? Air fresheners. This one is a cute little mason jar. Love it. This is FP30. Thank you, Bo. We have this uh, landscape rectangle. This is FP28. And then we have this beautiful cross one. And this is FP29. How many ounces of the sippy cup? They are... 12 ounces, I believe. Okay, also with the felt, we have a butterfly puzzle, so like that. And of course, it is double sided, which is great. Love it. Love it. So that is FP32, the felt puzzle. And this one, which I know you guys have been asking me for about for a while. So this is a sheet of felt that is uncut. This is FP27 and it's about 12 by 20. It's a little bit shorter than 12 by 20. So you guys can laser cut it or cut it in your plotter or stamp it out, do whatever you want to do with it. So you've asked and we have delivered. And I think that's all for the new products, I think. So 
Yeah. How thick is the felt sheet? Um, I don't know. I want to say it's about an eighth of an inch. Um, maybe, I don't know. I think maybe, let me see. Yeah, it's about an eighth. It's an eighth. Okay. All right. So, first things up. We're going. What is the question about the open house? Are the classes listed and what are they teaching? Yes. So, Diane has a question about the open house. Are the classes listed and what are they teaching? Yes, ma'am. If you go to our uh, ditrans.com slash VOH2021, which is our virtual open house webpage. It shows every single class and it also shows the class descriptions. And if you are already on the app, you can, um, you can ask questions. And I know a lot of the vendors have already been answering questions on there. So make sure to, uh, to, you know, ask your questions. And the more you participate, the more likely you are to win because just by participating in the classes, um, we will be giving away stuff for people that participate. So, and we also have contests going on. So for the three people that participate the most, they'll get a special prize. And then we also have a photography um, contest going on. So definitely download it, check it out. It's gonna be great. All right, let's do this cup. This is mug O. Oh. What did we say it was? 47. Mug O, oh, 47. Okay. And I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So, wow. I have a 25 degree temperature variance between the back of my mug, uh, back of my, um, oven in the front of my oven so we're gonna have to turn this so i've got my mug muggle 47 i've got this cute little pattern and this is going to be full bleed so um, martha asked is the photo contest photos of anything that's correct and um, it, it's based on you guys so you guys actually vote for the winners of the photo contest, so that's um, actually all, all of the contests through the app are automated. I don't have any control over them, so you guys vote for which photos you like best, and yeah, and the winner gets a prize. Okay, so I've just got it, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I've got it there under the handle. I'm going to tape it down. Okay, now a little different than our other mugs because this one is a lot rounder than a 15 ounce mug. What I am going to use is this big huge piece of SF29. I'm sorry, SF129. There you go, SF129. But I am going to, um, I'm going to use it twice because I can cut this piece in half and I can use it for two mugs. So you're actually getting two mugs with the price of one piece of subtle shrink. David, please get Sprite a new oven. Well, it's, you know, yes, 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 yes. And I don't know if you guys watched the, um, with David and Henry from the Hicks Corporation, but um, I really want a Hicks oven, that's for sure. Uh, Kim asked a good question. Uh, can you download the app uh, to a desktop or just a laptop? Yeah, you can totally just do it on your desktop. You do not have to download the app at all. As a matter of fact, um, yeah. So, and I think, uh, thank you, Miriam, for giving her, her, them the link to the web app. Uh, April, Amy asked, when will the new products be available? All are the all of the mugs are currently on the website. The only thing that I don't have on the website yet is the felt products. All right, so I'm just going to cut a slit for my handle, just like we do um, on uh, any of our other mugs. Okay. 
Okay. And you guys see I have a lot of excess here, but that's going to be okay. First thing I want to do, I want to tape all this up. And I'm going to tape it on the top so it doesn't split. I'm going to tape it on the bottom so it doesn't split. And then I'm also going to tape it underneath the handle. And we'll see how this works. I haven't done one of these yet because you guys know if I'm going to do something, why not do it on Facebook first? Okay, a couple more pieces. One more piece. Okay, now there's two ways that I could do this. I could take it and kind of like tape it around, but I think I'm just going to try to go for the gusto and just... Um, to see if I can get it to work. So here we go. Oh yeah, that worked really well. Okay, no worries. Okay. Turn this back on. So you guys saw what I did there. I took the the excess and shrink it down first and I don't really have too many bubbles so this should be pretty good pretty good okay let's set a timer for seven minutes Bo, set a timer for seven minutes and after seven minutes we're gonna turn it all oh hot so we're gonna turn it all the way around and we're gonna go for another seven minutes okay All right. Hey, Mom. Can the handle be sublimated? I think so. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure that it can. And it also has this um, really wide handle as well, so uh, you could do a pretty nice image on it. Bo, you're slacking. You're slacking, Bo. Okay. Um... Do you sell car magnets for business logos? Uh, no, because anything that's going to be outdoors is probably going to be, uh, is going to fade a little bit. All right. What are we going to do next? How about we do one of my favorite vacation products, which is this roll bag. This is item 80. 10A and this is a really really cute product because not only can you hang it by the little hanger but it also has all of these great little zipper pockets that can hold all of your different things and I love this product I think it's really cute and I try to take it with me anytime we go to trade shows and stuff because it fits all of my all my stuff in it so we are going to sublimate the flap And we're going to use this cute design right here, which is available in our Etsy store. <clears throat> okay. Protective paper. Guys, look at this. Look how cute this is. Show them up, show them, show them up close. Look. Look how cute. Isn't that adorable? Mm, okay. Sorry. All right, so let's, uh, we're going to lint roll it, pre-press it, and press it. What do we press it for? We press it for one minute and 15 seconds with medium pressure. Okay. So I've got my protective paper on the bottom. I'm just going to pre-press it to make sure it gets nice and flat. And I do want to hang it off because, you know, a lot of that is plastic. So I'm going to hang it on this side of the press so that when I, I don't have to close the press right, um, 
you know, right even with this part of the plat and I can kind of close it at an angle a little bit. Oh, this is on 300 degrees. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. So how about we increase our temperature to where it needs to be? Okay, and then set our time. Okay. All right, well, I guess while we're waiting for the DKA20S to heat up, we will finish prepping this. Um, is the material of the travel bag similar to the checkbook cover? So, mm, I, I want to say the checkbook cover is a little more coarse. Let's, let's get the zoom camera again so we kind of show. So this is more soft and then the back of it is kind of like a velvety kind of material so it, it's 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 different i wish you could see it doesn't matter how close i put it <laughs> but it's it's pretty soft and it's it's almost like satiny where i think the checkbook cover may not be but i could be unsure okay so Let's get some pro spray because I don't want to tape it down. Um, I don't know where I got this shirt from. Uh, probably like Zillow or something. I don't know. Thank you, though. Thank you. And I actually, it's funny, I don't like wearing this shirt because I don't like to wear colors because I have so many colors on my body. But, um, you know. You know. Okay. All right. What's what's my timer at, Bo? Ten minutes forty-five. I have a minute and forty-five seconds left. Okay. Well, I'm just kind of um, just kind of in a holding pattern while this heats up and this cooks. So yeah. What's a check? <laughs> I mean, you still have to have checks for some occasions, right? Um, because I know I don't have I don't have a checking account, and so I always have to go get like a cashier's check when I do, you know, something important like pay my taxes or something like that. Um, yeah, Roxanne says that she has mermaid hair. Wear all the colors you want. I know I'm just a more of a I like, I like black is my favorite color, and I like black, and I'm sure you guys have noticed that I only wear black, so, or mostly wear black or brown or gray. Bo, I'm blaming this on you. Yeah. This is okay. It's, sure. It's Doug's fault. It, it is Doug's fault. You're right. It's completely Doug's fault. Um, what did I do with my, there it is. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it again, and hopefully we'll be okay. I am now 50 degrees cooler. Time for a new oven. All right, another seven minutes. We'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know how much these would sell for. Um... I mean, probably $20. They're very thick. They're double walled, stainless steel, vacuum insulated. You know, um, the handles are really nice. Uh, so it's kind of a high end sippy cup, but um, it's nice. Okay. And I'm at 349. So we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Anybody have any questions? You want to talk about what classes I'm going to be doing? Um, so I'm going to be doing Subless Shrink in an Oven, Troubleshooting Your Oven with Subless Shrink. And it's about a two-hour class. Um, so we're going to go over a lot of tips about that. 
And then my second class is going to be trends, where we're going to be doing a sublimation chalkboard and also redoing the tie-dye because I know how to do it better. How long have I had that oven? Three years, I think, three years. So yeah, it's been a while. And you know, it's a $100 oven, so I mean, that's not bad. So laser etched sippy cups between 15 to 18 dollars. I don't know. I still feel like you know full color being able to put what they want on it. Um, you know, especially to like match the theme of their other things. I think I think there's a niche for it. Okay, 368 degrees. Oh, I see you guys are, are busy on the Hoover app. I just got a question on the Hoover, Hoover app, so. Yeah, the tie-dye is going to be fun. The tie-dye shirt that I did um, was amazing. Um, so, it was, I, I, I personally liked it. I think some people didn't like it, but that's okay. I don't care. Uh, so here we go. Miriam said she just saw one sublimated sippy cup for $30. So, you know, you got to know your market. Um, Diane asked, can we rewatch re the classes that you teach? Yes, ma'am. Um, so everything will be available on the app. It will also be recorded. And then um, probably a couple of weeks later, we'll go ahead and release everything to our YouTube page just so you guys can watch it for reference and stuff like that. Because... Um, yeah because 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 it's free and we want you guys to succeed and the better you do the better we do i don't like not having anything to do up here i could teach you guys some yoga like some want to do some breath moves with me <laughs> how much time do i have left Bo? Three and a half minutes. Oh, and we're at 389, so we're almost there. Watch, they'll both be ready at the same time. Yeah, Arkansas Maid said people pay a lot of money for custom sippy cups. Hello, Chetty. Hi. Hi, hi. We definitely do some yoga. Um, oh, Tracy with the breath of fire. Okay, I hear you. We do, do a couple sun salutations, you know, maybe a little kundalini. <laughs> All right. Well, sorry, you missed your chance. Let's, let's get it. Okay, so this is stuck on. We are going to do the same thing we just did. We're going to hang it. Hang it over the edge. Kind of hold the bottom so it doesn't slide. Make sure I've got it all in there. Okay. Well, oh, no big deal. All right, now we're gonna press it. And we'll see how it goes. I hope I, yeah, sure. All right, how much time left on this? Two minutes. I think we're almost there. We're almost there, guys. Yes, good idea, uh, Janine. Package deal, sippy cup and a matching bib. It actually wasn't, <laughs> Miriam, better a fallen trash can than a burnt cable. <laughs> um, it was actually my bin of all of my things. Well, Chetty, I'm glad that you finally got to see a live stream. I am so glad. Oh, Judy. Oh, knee replacement surgery. That is um, not fun. Not fun at all. 
Um, do you need to sign up for the classes if you just registered? No, you don't have to sign up. Um, you can just be there, uh, you know, be on the app when they uh, happen and, um, <laughs> and, and just watch them. Mobile, Alabama, in case anybody forgets where I'm from. That's it right there. And so I didn't have any issue. My zipper still zips. No melting. Ooh. Oh, wait. That's the zipper for this part. There we go. And then, yeah, so everything's still good. Love this product. And then you just roll it all up. Just like that, super cute. Um, Mary asked, why not use a mug press instead of an oven? And that is because this mug is too, um, it's, she's too thick. She, she's, uh, she's a little too big to put in an oven. I mean, in a mug press. So we gotta do her in the oven. Or him, or, you know, whatever. Oh no. I'm I don't these two fingernails are just dead, so That's okay though. It's hot. Look. I got a little bit of a line there. That's my fault. I also got a little bit of a line there. That's also my fault. But look under the handle how cute now the one thing about these mugs is you guys can see that kind of taper at the top so you're not going to be able to go any higher than that but that's adorable very very cute um and then that's why i like uh, so that's why i like this one so much because the color is already in there and you're just kind of adding to it and I, I think this is like a really classic kind of looking mug so love it all right moving right along we are going to do a sippy cup is that right silver sippy cup oh I dropped it Ugh. okay so we're gonna do our silver sippy cup this is SS cup 13s Oh, it's 13 ounce. Did I say 12 ounce? It is 13 ounce. Well, uh, Debbie asked a good question. What are the lines from? So the lines are from the template and I just didn't cut the template lines out enough. Um, so you guys didn't actually see, okay. Let's go back to this camera for me. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but that, uh, hmm. so you guys see that black line? right so if i didn't cut that black line out and i left it then that was that sublimated onto the mug and that was just me like being in a, in a big hurry and not oh see i can see right here i don't know if you guys can see it but like right there i didn't cut all the line out and so that was just i was in a hurry i was in a hurry so always make sure that you cut your cut your template or else that black line will sublimate all the way around it Okay. All right. Let's see. She's cooling down. They're cooling down. Let us do... Is this the one? Is this it? Okay. So we're going to do this design on this mug. And so there's two versions of these sippy cups that have the exact same top and one of them is shaped like the stainless steel wine glass and I like it but so I guess imagine like this but with this lid on it 
you know, and I liked them, but my thing was the all over imprint. And I, and you're going to be able to get obviously a much easier all over imprint with this than you would with this. So, okay. All right. So I've got my template and I've got my product and I'm just going to wrap it and tape it. This one's going to be pretty easy. This can also be done in your DK3D. I think uh, David did one yesterday on the DK3D. Are the sippy cups dishwasher safe? So because they're double walled, we really don't recommend you put any double walled product in the dishwasher simply because water can get in between the, uh, the walls and cause mold and mildew and you definitely don't want that. All right, did my little tape friend today. We'll see how that works. So I'm using SF76. And turn this guy back off for a second. So I'm going to shrink down the excess first. Okay, let's turn this guy back on. Who said tequila sippy cup? Who's, who said it? <laughs> it's, hey, it's, it's beach time. I'm, I'm with it, you know? Okay, so I've got this. Now, we've got six minutes in the oven. So that means, means three minutes, and then we're going to turn it. Bo, three minutes. And let's go. And let's go. All right, while we're waiting for that to cook. Um, so, okay, Miriam asked, do I have an overlap there? So on that particular one, I do not, simply because um, Bo created the graphic to be a white space where the seam would be. Um, but on, for instance, this one and this one, yeah, you create it with an overlap. Um, oh, wow, this one's so good, you can't even see the seam. Look at that. I mean, you can tell because that's where everything meets together, but you can't even see that there's a seam there. That's really cool. And then same way with this one. I mean, you can see the seam, but yeah, you always want to overlap, especially, especially on stainless steel products because that steel will, will expand and contract. Okay. <laughs> All right, where am I at? Here we go. Okay, so for my final trick today, we are going to, that's still hot, we're going to be sublimating these guys, these um, mason jar air fresheners, which I think would be a great thing to take on vacation, especially if you have um, a lot of people that are going to be in a car for a long time together. Okay, so for this, what's my temperature? 400 degrees, 60 seconds? Well, I don't know because somebody didn't put the instructions down correctly, but that's what it is. It's 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Was it me? It was me. <laughs> Can we just blame everything on David today or Doug? All right, so I'm just getting kind of the debris off. Oh, I didn't announce the number. What is the number? Yeah, I talked about it beforehand. The number is FP, oh, FP30. <laughs> I got to get used to Bo throwing this stuff down there. FP30. Everything just changes so quickly. All right, here we go. So I've got my design. This is my Beach Please design. I am going to pro spray it. How am I doing on time, Bo? Three minutes? Seconds. I have 30 seconds. Oh gosh. The pressure's on. Ooh. Mm -mm. 
Read, read me Phyllis's question. I learned the hard way to line up the design with the lid on the sippy cup because of the handles. Because the way it's oh. Sound. Oh, 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 very good idea. Yes. All right, let me flip this around. And we'll go for another three minutes. I can already see it start to sublimate. Okay. Um, I just don't feel like this is, you know what? We're just going to go with it. Okay. Piece of protective paper on the bottom. We're going to put our felt face up. Now, of course, our felt is two-sided, but we're going to go the side we're printing face up, image face down. We're going to cover it with another piece of protective paper. And then we're going to press this for 60 seconds with a medium to light pressure. Just like that. Now, when I do those, because felt when it is warm is dimensionally unstable. So I have here my two MDF blocks. It stands for medium density fiberboard. And we're just going to smash it between it to make it nice and um, flat. Okay. Are the designs for the sippy cups on the Etsy site for Condi? No, uh, these two are not. Um, these were created by Nicole, I believe. And then that one was created by Bo. And so was this one. So. I believe Tracy. <laughs> I am dimensionally unstable as well. Um, okay, here we go. We are all a little dimensionally unstable. You know what? I didn't do too bad. So I am going to just smash it. And it only takes a couple of seconds. You really just... Ah. I'm just going to smash it and leave... Just let it sit there for a second. So yeah, how much? How many? How many minutes do we have left, Bo? We got so much going on right now. Forty. For, Forty seconds. Okay, looks like we can probably bring it out. But before we do that, let's just go ahead and press the second side of these guys. We're gonna try. We probably won't have enough time, but. Nope. <laughs> I think I almost did that last week too and you guys all yelled at me, which I appreciate because sometimes I need to be yelled at. Five. Four, three, two, one. Hold on. Watch the magic. Here we go. Okay, here we go. And we're going to turn this thing completely off because it is hot. Yes, look. See it sublimated through? That means it's ready. That means it's ready. Mark, I'm going to need you to send me one of those nifty little things you use to get the shrink wrap off. I believe it. Well, it's just a staple remover, but oh gosh. Oh, geez. Too much going on at one time. Hold on.
There we go. Okay. Got it. Isn't that precious? It's just so cute. Nice. Okay, let's check this out. <clears throat> Adorable. Super cute, they say. Griswold's family vacation. Griswoods! Oh! <laughs> That would be me, the Gritswoods family vacation. And I've got all six of them here. And then of course, as always with our felt air fresheners, they come with the little bags and the little strings, which are here. So you can have your whole little retail display once you set it all up. So, yay. Whew, okay. All right, guys, that was a lot. Okay. All right, guys, <clears throat> so that's about all I have for today. Now, every single week, I ask you to leave me a review of a product that you're doing. I randomly pick a winner and I give them $25 in Condi credit. This time, my winner is Angie in, in New Mexico. She reviewed the Shot 01, which is our shot glass. And it's, she said, I have a mug press with a shot glass attachment. These ceramic glasses look great. I personally like these better than the frosted ones. Remember, shot glasses make great toothpick holders too. And tourists love to collect shot glasses. And that is the truth. Okay, next off. Every single week, in addition to leaving me a review, I also ask you to show me what you're doing by entering it in the gallery contest. Now, we just finished up our huge gallery contest where uh, next week we'll be announcing our first place, second place, third place, and fourth place prizes. And then today we have started a new quarterly contest, and that is show us your best back to school item. So you could uh, enter that for the next three months. You have a chance to win $400 for first place, $200 for second place, $100 for third place, and $50 for honorable mention. But every week, I pick someone and I give them $25 in Condi credit. And I'm very excited because this week, my winner is Miriam Lynn. Miriam did the MA1046, which is the sign, the U5677, which are the coasters, the Tote 001, which is the tote bag, and the TW1117, which is the image towel. And she said, I made these products as a thank you gift for a local lady who has a pet treats business for donating a cake to celebrate the life of our Yorkie Bentley who passed on 619. I'm so sorry, Miriam. Definitely not my line of work, but I wanted to share. These items came in different black boxes and I had the polyester tote for a while. I've only worked with the hardboard coaster, so it was nerve-wracking pressing the other ones. I messed up on the color, but I don't think she cared. And I don't think you can tell, because I think it looks fantastic. So congratulations, Miriam. Um, you will be receiving a... <laughs> I know. I, I'm so glad. I love it when the people that win are the people that I, I know their names from all the chats. So... Um, so yeah, so thank you guys. And also thank you so much for watching me until the end. So you know what that means. It is time to email me s w o o d at condi.com. I will send you these two patterns, this beach please pattern and also do you, you're almost there. <laughs> Click on that. Nope. Nope. There. Yep, there you go. And also the owls and leaves pattern. Ooh, look, it matches my shirt. Anyways, email me swood at condi.com. I will send you these two patterns. I will be answering emails for the next 40 minutes. After that, I no longer answer emails. All right, guys, I will see you on 
Tuesday special open house edition of TTPPHH. Until then, have a great weekend. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.